fly back there and tell them the real dragon warrior is coming home. Everyone remembers Tai Lung from the first Kung Fu Panda movie. He wasn't your typical bad guy. Tai Lung was strong, determined, and made a lasting impact on the Kung Fu Panda series. Lots of fans think there's more to Tai Lung than just being a villain. Now with Kung Fu Panda 4 on its way, the big question is whether Tai Lung could get a shot at redemption. The burning question everyone wants an answer to is whether Tai Lung could turn things around in his new installment. In today's video, we'll dive into the possibility from different angles. So, grab some popcorn, sit back, relax, and let's explore this together. <laughs> tai Lung, big fan. To understand the potential for Tai Lung's redemption, we need to take a closer look at Tai Lung's story. Basically, all the stuff that happened before all the Kung Fu Panda action. So, in the first movie, we meet Tai Lung, this super skilled martial artist growing up in the Jade Palace. Picture a kid who's not just good, but crazy good at Kung Fu. He's got skills, determination, and this big dream of being something great. But here's where things get tricky. Imagine Master Ogwe, the wise old tortoise, was picking someone for a super important role called the Dragon Warrior. And guess what? It wasn't Tai Lung. No, the role didn't go to him. That rejection wasn't just a bummer. It was like a spark that lit a fire. This rejection changed everything for Tai Lung. It took him from being this talented kid with dreams to the tough bad guy we saw in the first movie. Imagine being so sure you were meant for something and then it's just taken away. That pain turned into anger and that anger pushed him onto a dark and difficult path. Now, Tai Lung's story is like a sad song of expectations. Not met, dreams shattered, and a guy who felt let down by the world around him. The society he grew up in didn't quite understand how to help him reach his potential. It's a tale of missed opportunities and the consequences of not nurturing someone's talent. And here's where it gets real. When we peel back the layers of Tai Lung's past, we find a kid who just wants to be recognized, appreciated, and feel like he had a purpose. It's like he was searching for a thumbs up from the world, especially after being denied that Dragon Warrior title. Now with Kung Fu Panda 4 on the horizon, we can't help but wonder, can Tai Lung make peace with all this history? Is there a chance for him to find redemption, to turn things around and make a new story for himself? <laughs> We're dead. Now, let's dive into the crucial role played by Master Shifu in Tai Lung's life. Shifu wasn't just a mentor, he was like a second dad to Tai Lung, offering guidance, support, and a feeling of belonging since Tai Lung was just a young martial artist in training. But here's where things take a twist. When Ogwe, the wise tortoise, didn't choose Tai Lung as a dragon warrior, it shattered the whole idea that Shifu and Tai Lung had built together. It was like the dream they both believed in was suddenly gone. Shifu was supposed to guide and support Tai Lung, found himself in a tough spot. He couldn't see past the disappointment and anger of Tai Lung, and that initially pushed Tai Lung into a bad direction. The betrayal of Tai Lung felt from the guy he saw as a father figure, the one who was supposed to have his back, made everything worse. This broken trust became a big part of why Tai Lung turned into such a tough opponent in the first movie. The relationship between Shifu and Tai Lung went from being strong to falling apart, and that was a key part of Tai Lung transformation into a bad guy. As we look ahead to Kung Fu Panda 4, we're left wondering, can Shifu be part of Tai Lung's redemption story? Is there a chance for them to heal from the hurt from the past and patch up their mentor-student bond? Shifu carrying the weight of guilt for his role in Tai Lung's downfall might get a shot at redemption himself. The movie could dive into Shifu's thoughts and show us what he's going through because of the choices he made. This adds a layer of complexity to the story. It's not just just about Tai Lung finding redemption, but also about Shifu making things right. It was never enough for Tai Lung. He wanted the Dragon Scroll. Despite being the bad guy in the Kung Fu Panda series, many fans see Tai Lung as more than just your typical villain. Now, with Kung Fu Panda 4 on the horizon, there's a chance for DreamWorks to give Tai Lung a whole new story. This time, it's not just about being the bad guy. It's about him turning things around and becoming a better version of himself. It's like hitting the reset button on his character. Now, let's talk about colors. In Kung Fu Panda, colors have a special meaning, especially when it comes to chi, which is 
like this life force energy thing. Tai Lung's chi, the thing that makes him all powerful, is shown in yellow in the trailer. And guess what? Yellow is usually linked with the good guys in this world. It's like a little secret code DreamWorks is using to tell us something. DreamWorks loves using colors to tell a story within a story. The change from yellow to blue in Tai Lung's past might be a big clue. It's like saying, hey, something went wrong here. Maybe it shows how Tai Lung went from being a good guy to getting mixed up in some bad stuff. It's like a sneak peek into his past and what might have messed him up. Now let's talk about the tough times Tai Lung went through. Losing battles to Poe and Kai. Those are big moments that made him think. Each of these losses is like a wake-up call, making him look at himself and say, okay, maybe I need to change something here. It's those moments of reflection that can lead to something big, maybe even redemption. But here comes the heavy stuff. Tai Lung's internal struggle. The trailer gives us a glimpse of him dealing with his past, the time he spent locked up, and whatever went down in the spirit realm. It's like he's trying to find some peace inside himself. That inner peace thing has been a big deal in Kung Fu Panda, right? So maybe that's the key to Tai Lung finding his way back to the good side. What I ever did, I did to make you proud! Tell me how proud you are! Now, let's dig into another intriguing aspect of the Kung Fu Panda 4 trailer, the potential collaboration between Tai Lung and Po. The trailer introduces a new antagonist, Chameleon, and hints at an alliance forming between Tai Lung and Po to confront this shared threat. It's like the old saying, the enemy of my enemy is my friend, coming to life. But what could this unexpected partnership mean for Tai Lung's character? This alliance has the potential to be a game changer, bringing together Tai Lung and Po, who were once enemies against a common foe like Chameleon is a plot twist that caught everyone's attention. Could this collaboration serve as a catalyst for Tai Long's redemption? Is it possible that facing a greater threat forces these former adversaries to unite for a cause beyond themselves? The dynamic of this partnership is fascinating. It's not just a team up for the sake of it. It's most likely going to be a union born out of necessity. The common enemy, Chameleon, might push Tai Long and Poe to set aside their differences and work together. This sets the stage for character development and potential redemption for Tai Lung. Imagine the emotional impact of seeing Tai Lung, the once fearsome antagonist, teaming up with Po, the beloved dragon warrior, to take on a new formidable enemy. That will definitely be something fans will talk about for decades to come. And that is that on today's video. As we eagerly anticipate the release of Kung Fu Panda 4, the prospect of Tai Lung's redemption adds a layer of excitement and anticipation. Will Tai Lung overcome his inner struggles, forgive Shifu, and ultimately become a hero? Only time will tell. Share your thoughts on this theory in the comments below. If you enjoyed watching this video, like this video and share it with your friends. And if you are yet to subscribe to my channel, make sure you click on that subscribe button so you know when more videos like this drop. Until the next update, stay tuned for more Kung Fu Panda insights and may your inner dragon guide you on this epic journey. Who are you, buddy? I... I'm the Dragon Warrior.